I won the award in 2015 and at the time I was focusing a lot on the place of Africa in the international system and trying to understand the way in which African states project their power and authority globally, looking particularly at security and the security arena. And since then, uh, I think my work has expanded quite a lot to try and think more broadly about what security means in Africa and, and globally as well. So how security is understood and articulated by not only states, but also communities um, all over the world. Um, so I've done quite a lot of research in the last few years on local and everyday perspectives on security. So I did some work on that in refugee settlements and communities in, in northern Uganda. And I've also been looking more at the relationship between security and authoritarianism. So the way in which authoritarian states use security uh, concerns or security threats to build um, greater control and authority. So at the time of the award, I was senior lecturer. Since then, I've become a reader and, and head of department this year. Um, and I think what, what the award did was it, it really um, sort of gave me some some reassurance and and confidence that my my peers thought that what i was doing is in terms of research is is really um valuable and and worth recognizing and i guess it kind of um gave me the confidence to push myself more in terms of what i do as as a researcher so the kind of scope of things that i'm interested in i really want to try and expand the research i'm doing do we see similar things happening in relation to how people engage with the state in the UK compared to South Africa or, or the US compared to Nigeria, for example. I mean, there are always things that you can say about differences, but I think trying to make larger claims about the everyday experiences people have of the state is what I'd really like to do in the future, really. I think these awards are really important because in terms of establishing your, I guess, your credibility in a particular area, it, it demonstrates other people think that your work is worthwhile and worth recognising. Nobody can do well in academia and survive basically without um, having people that can support and, and, and mentor them. And I think it's really important to reach out to people. What keeps me passionate is being able to see how the things that I'm working on are really relevant to things going on right now in different parts of the world.